Well, on to this now. A Pretoria youngster has been accepted into Florida University of Technology in the U.S. to study aerospace engineering next year. What makes this special is that Alessandro later has lived with Tourette's syndrome, which he has now outgrown. His mother, Janessa, realized early on that a traditional school would not be the right move for her son, so she opened her own. Janessa and Alessandro join us now to tell us about their journey. Alessandro and Janessa, thank you so much for your time. Um, and I believe you're coming um, to us from the U.S. Firstly, let me start here. Alessandro, congratulations uh, for uh, passing exceptionally well, I believe, and being introduced into an elite school. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. So, so, Janessa, this has been quite a journey, and I want us to go all the way back. So your son was in a mainstream South African school, but he had this condition. And um, what happened then? Because since then, you then started and established your own school that you've probably found more conducive for him. Tell us about your Absolutely. journey. Yes, yeah, so I have three boys. Alessandro is the youngest of the three. And I've been in education my whole life. I had an FET college. So I've always believed in giving my children the best possible education. So they, he was performing well academically. And then grade four, he was diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. So that's involuntary facial movements. So unfortunately, he was terribly bullied at school. And as a result of that, at the last minute, we just had to make a decision. So we took him out of school and we didn't know there were any other options. You know, we had never explored homeschooling. So we looked into it and we tried a couple of different providers. And because I was in education, I thought to myself, you know, I, I know how he learns. I, I can see how he loves technology. He uses it to socialize, to create, to entertain. So why not to educate? So we, I started developing online content for Alessandra. And then I thought to myself, I'm sure there's so many other children for various reasons that are in the same situation that just don't fit the traditional schooling mold. So that's when I registered Think Digital College. We've since done a name change to Think Digital Academy. And we have opened up a branch in the US as well. And it, it's just been fabulous to seeing how Alessandro's entire personality has changed and just being out of that environment, that traditional schooling environment with the bullying and the teasing, how he's flourished, you know, emotionally, academically. And if somebody had told us seven years ago that this is where we'd be sitting, I don't think I would have believed them. No, uh, I mean, I'm listening to your story. Did it in any way assist um, Alessandro deal with Tourette? What, what, in your opinion, do you think that his, his symptoms subside subsequent to him getting into a, a comfortable environment? Absolutely. That was, I think, one of the things that um, influenced it the most. I don't know yeah, how definitely. Alessandro feels, but... He used to explain it to me. He said it, it felt like a mosquito bite that you're trying not to scratch. So that was when he was in the classroom environment and trying not to tick. And he was focusing so much on trying to control his ticks that he couldn't focus on studying or even listening or concentrating at school. So the fact that he was out of that environment and all the pressure was taken off, because besides the social pressure at that point, school is just so full of so much pressure you know it's so competitive in so many different ways so just having all that pressure removed and being able to study at his own pace in his own space it, the, the change in fact for the whole family was incredible we were all so much more relaxed and it was just the best thing for alessandra you know it's not necessarily the best thing for every child some children thrive in a traditional schooling environment his brothers did but for Alessandra and so many children with whether it's anxiety or depression or you know for so many different reasons there are children that don't fit the traditional school mold and thrive in the environment you know where they're studying online now, Alessandro, let me bring you into this conversation. I mean, I'm listening to your mom. She's obviously very proud of you. And I'm looking at some of you, you know, your achievements. Despite you having this condition, you have now been accepted at Florida University of Technology, FIT, to study aerospace engineering. Talk to us about your journey. I believe it started with you being bullied at school before you moved into this online learning. How was that for you? 
uh it, it, it was really difficult knowing that like you had you, you had a tick that you you couldn't scratch you, it, it was difficult to try get through the day when everyone was looking at you and you couldn't focus on your work so the second i was removed from that environment and able to just do what i want freely and get through my work and I, in fact, I worked so quickly, I was able to skip a year with online. So I matriculated at 17. So it was it was really such a lovely experience to be able to not be teased, not be bullied, not have to go to school assemblies and waste your time to just run through the curriculum and matriculate. That's absolutely fantastic. So tell us about FIT. You are going to be studying aerospace engineering. And I believe a certain um, former South African, if I can call him that, Elon Musk, is also your hero. Is he the one that inspired your journey? 100%. He was horrifically bullied at school. And I, I just I saw a few similarities, not to call me the next Elon Musk, but I saw a few similarities that he was bullied, then moved to North America and started a company that's helped, helping moving society forward. And I want to be a part of something that's doing something so great, whether it's him as a side part making cars that are eco-friendly, that are changing the way cars are made from solar panels that are wildly strong to a, to a rocket that's going to take us to another world is just crazy. And I, I would love to be a part of that. Fantastic. Now, uh, back to you, uh, Janessa. So t talk to us a little bit about the academy. You, you said when you started it initially, it was for you to assist your son. And it's then grown into this community where you are assisting other parents. Um, talk to us about how um, this is assisting them and those parents that are probably sitting in conventional school or mainstream South African schools that are dealing with a similar problem, or where it not be Tourette's, but other anxiety related and mental illnesses that want to go into a similar uh, route, how would you advise them? Absolutely. There's so many parents, in fact, just due to COVID at the moment, that they they weren't look, looking at homeschooling or online learning, and due to COVID, they've been forced into this. So we were, you know, forced into this for different reasons. But with the epidemic or the pandemic, people are being forced into it for that reason. So uh, we understand parents' anxiety and, you know, that this isn't what they saw for their children. But in fact, it is such a viable option for so many children. We offer, it's from grade R to grade 12. We have the South African curriculum, the British curriculum, and we've got the GED, which is the matric equivalent in America. So we've got a curriculum that, um, you know, is suitable for all children. We offer the Cambridge curriculum, uh, sorry, the South African curriculum in English and Afrikaans. And we, what I realized was issues that I battled with when Alessandra and I started this journey, we've built into our system. We've got a fabulous learner management system that we've built from scratch. And we give parents so much support and so much feedback because I had a tutor helping Alessandra, but I always wondered, you know, how much was he competing in a day? Was he on track? What were his results like? Was he understanding all the concepts? So parents get a weekly report outlining all the work the child has completed in that week. If they've taken any assessments, what the result was. If they took any formal assessments, the parent gets a copy of that assessment so they can see the question, the child's answer, and the correct answer. So they can see at any stage where their child is. It's also ideal for small schools. Even we've got full, you know, big traditional schools that have adopted our curriculum because teachers at a glance can see exactly where all their children are, how they're doing academically, how much time they're spending on the system, where they are. So it just gives children and parents and educators so much security. And the fact that children can work at their own pace, we find is fabulous because children who battle academically can revise the work as many times as they like. All the lessons are pre-recorded. Almost all of our teachers are heads of departments from private schools because I wanted to replicate the schooling environment online, but improve on it. And by having the best possible teachers, the best learner management system, the support from our staff, fabulous customer service, we were able to create that. All right, uh, Janessa and Alessandro, thank you so much for your time. And Alessandro, you know, uh, good luck. Uh, we understand that your university is very close to NASA, so I hope yeah. that you get to meet your hero very soon. Thank you so much for your Me time too. to you thank both, you so and much. good luck.